Hey guys! It feels so good to be shooting a video right now. I am so happy. We're gonna be talking about my favorites for the month of April. Actually, I'm noticing a lot of my favorites this time happen to be more affordable drugstore ones. That's just how it turned out for the month of April. If you did watch my spring glowy makeup look, um, I did use some of these products, so you're not gonna be too surprised to see them. Let's start with the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. Smashbox does have quite a few different primers, and this one would probably be my favorite from their whole collection, because not only does it help minimize the pores, but it also does a pretty decent job at controlling some of the oil from seeping through too quickly. So that's why I've really been loving it. I will also say that I do find that this works better under certain foundations than others. And one of the ones that I really have been loving it under would be Revlon's Colorstay Whipped Cream Foundation. Oldie but goodie. It's another one that I used in that uh, tutorial. And I have it in the shade Warm Golden. It has more of that whipped moussey texture. It's a little bit on the thicker side, so I like to apply a thin layer because applying too much of this will make you look cakey really fast. It's not travel friendly. It's a little bit bulky and it is in like this heavy glass container. So I, ha I don't travel with it, but I do love it for when I need my makeup to last and for when I need it to look good throughout an entire day. And it has more of that like satiny uh, velvet finish to the skin, which is probably one of my favorite finishes for foundation if I want to look a little bit more made up. So I, I really am just like still loving this after all these years. I actually forgot about it for a little while and then I used it again. And honestly, like throughout the day as my oil seeps through, it just makes the foundation on my face look better. Like the foundation just looks like it's glowing as opposed to like a pool of oil sitting on top of my face. And what I've been using to apply that foundation as well as some other products is this e.l.f. angled blush brush. Cheapy, it's only three bucks, and honestly, it's such a good brush. It's like dense enough, but also really soft, and it's not too dense to where I feel like I'm punching my face with it. I love even like stippling with it, um, blending out my concealer. You can find this at CBS, that's where I got mine, or Target, I'm sure Target has it as well, and of course, online. Okay, so I have a highlight. It is the Balm Mary Luminizer. It's more of a champagne with a gold tint to it. I think the gold tint to it is what makes me just love it so much. Of course, it also is very like refined. I have a little bit of it on today. Actually, no, I have a lot of it on today. I'm not sure how well it'll show on camera, but a little bit of this really does go a long way. I have some right here on the inner corner and on my Cupid's bow too. It's just such a gorgeous shimmer. You can wear it as an eyeshadow or a highlight, but my favorite spot to put it is definitely right here. I just feel very glowy and luminized. <laughs> okay, last as far as makeup goes would be these CoverGirl Outlast Longwear and Moisture Lipsticks. I heard about these through Emily Noel. She spoke about them in one of her videos and I was like, I have to try that out. So of course I like rushed out and grabbed a few shades. So the shade that I'm actually lightly wearing on my lips right now is in Phantom Pink. And I don't have it thickly on. I literally just like dabbed it on like this today because I was kind of going for that practically nothing on my lips type of look. But actually out of these three, so far lately I've been wearing this one the most. It's Red Siren. It's kind of like a red, a slight red orange. It's just this great pop of color, great for a night out or if you're not wearing too much else on your face and you just want a little something. Oh, and I should mention I have Fireball as well, which is more of like an orangey coral shade, but lately I've just been liking Red Siren more. And what's great about these is with the brighter colors, as it wears off, it just looks like this gorgeous stain on your lips. It doesn't look funny. Um, it's not drying. It actually is actually kind of hydrating. These get a big thumbs up. Next we have a hair product, but it's actually more of a hair tip or hack. It would be the Psst dry shampoo. So I ran out of my Batiste and my Chloron. Those are probably like my top two favorites. And I had this one like as backup. And you know what? It's just as good. And the hack that I have for you guys, if your roots, if your hair and scalp just gets oily really quickly, spritz some of this in your roots um, before you go to bed. Like sleep with it in your hair and it will, like your hair will wake up with more volume. It's not going to look greasy. When I do that, when I actually sleep with some of this in my hair overnight, I find that I can go two to three days without washing my hair. I know that sounds gross, but... 
ain't nobody got time to wash their hair and style it every single day. This is probably like the more, one of the more affordable dry shampoos and it works just as well with this. Next, I have a fashion favorite. Yay, I love fashion favorites. It would actually be this top from Forever 21. It is, I believe, like 50% linen and then the other 50 cotton. But I was looking for more linen type of tops like this that's just easy breezy, perfect for spring, summer, and of course is like very breathable. That's what I especially love about it, but I just love the kind of like effortless, yet she can put together look of it. I will say that if you get this one, do size up. I got it in a size small. Um, I did order online, and I think it is a final sale product, so definitely if you're gonna get it, if you have broader shoulders like I do, or if you're a busty, I definitely recommend sizing up. I'm like this close to just going ahead and ordering ordering it in a medium as well just because I love it so much. Next, for the month of April, I have been obsessed with my new glasses. Oh my goodness, shopping for glasses is like, it's like a nightmare for me because I have very poor vision, like literally like negative 10, negative 9. For those of you who have poor vision as well, I'm sure you can feel me on how tough it is to find one that's lightweight enough that's not gonna leave like, you know, indentations right here because of how heavy it is and that you can wear without your lashes hitting the lens. So this pretty much checks all those things off and I even find that I like like wearing more dramatic eye makeup when I'm wearing these or a bold lip with it. I just think it's really fun and it's just so lightweight and comfortable. This brand is actually Piovino. I don't know if I can find this exact frame, but if I do, I'll link it down below. Okay, lastly, it is a pretty random favorite. It's not a book, it's not a song, it is an animal, and that animal would be the capybara. If you don't know what the capybara is, it is actually um, in the rodent family, and it's like the largest of the rodent family. It is so cute. I had no idea what it was until I saw someone's video on Facebook one day, and it was actually about some other animals, but there was like this large animal just chilling out beside next to it. And I was like, what is that? Of course I looked it up, and once I found out what it was, I fell in love with it. I believe it resides in South America, but it is on my bucket list to meet one one day because it's just so cute, and it seems like all animals love it too. Like they love to chill with it or even sit on top of it and hang out on top of it. It's like that best friend that everyone needs in their life. You guys probably think I am crazy, but if you have a favorite animal like besides a dog, I mean, you guys know I love dogs. If you have a favorite animal besides a dog, um, let me know down below. I'm just really curious. All right, so that wraps it up for my April favorites. I do have a few um, shout outs or just, you know, if, if you haven't seen my other content off of this channel, I had a couple really cool opportunities that sort of like launched last month, you know, in the month of April. One would be I did a how-to video for Origins. It's on their new Maskimizer product, and that's actually over on Sephora's website right now. So that was pretty freaking cool. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check that out. I know some of you guys had seen it, or if you do follow Origins like on their Instagram, or you might have seen their the ad throughout Facebook. But now it's actually on Sephora's website, so definitely check that out. Another really awesome opportunity is that I actually got to collaborate with Zoe Saldana and her sisters. They recently launched their own channel and it's really regarding everything like women, you know, uh, woman empowerment, just anything along those lines. And we did a video about beauty hacks for the busy woman, so definitely check that out. I'll leave that link down below as well. Ooh, running out of breath. Lastly, I'm actually going to a music festival that takes place on the beach in the month of May. I'm so excited about it. It's called the Hangout Festival. It's gonna be over at Gulf Shores in Alabama. So that's actually really not too far from where I live. So I was like, I have to go. I missed out on Coachella this year, so I really was hoping to go to another like fun festival. And this one takes place on the beach. You guys know how obsessed I am with the beach. So I'm so excited. They have some pretty huge headliners. Um, I'll leave some information about that down below too. But if any of you guys are going, please let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely stay tuned for upcoming monthly favorites. And I do upload videos weekly, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.